welcome to Kolkata Literature Festival. Toma ke ekhane pe amra khub khushi. My first question to you is: You've said that the only time in your life that you have been without a guitar and music was the first 12 years of your life. So, what was that feeling to take that instrument in your hand at that age, at 12, and how did it change your life? When, when I, when I actually, uh, I haven't uh, decided. It was decided somehow because I remember when I was 11, 10 or 11, there used to be a broken guitar in the house lying around. I went and crawled on, in my hall room and I played the fourth string. I still remember, and some spark went on at at 11 or 10. You don't know what is happening, you know. So it just kind of changed in your mind, and something told you this is what you got to do in life. And I forgot the world, and I just wanted. And after that, every lesson my uh, teacher gave me was like, wow! I couldn't wait for the lesson, you know. So, and I didn't think left, right, and nothing mattered. It was so simple for me to just walk through the lessons, go through that. It was tough. I used to practice a lot, but um, and then later when I, and the thing is, you know, and uh, somehow I was kind of shaped to play guitar. I don't know how. and as i played i practiced more so therefore i became better and because i was becoming becoming better i was getting inspired and so i started practicing even more so it the cycle went on and here i am you know what i mean so that's how music has been described as a friend as a muse as a lover as a wife so many different versions of music has been said by different musicians all around the world what is music to you love uh, i'm i'm a big lover you know we are terribly in love that's why that's the only reason one can be together you know whether it's a uh, two friends or a uh, husband wife or girlfriend boyfriend or guitar or me it just eventually see i tell you something eventually people might get married and there could be uh, emotional connections physical connections but in the end it's friendship that survives so for me it's the you know uh, i because i'm a male i think my guitar is a she but uh, it's just terribly in love with it you know and i'm i'm falling in love every day even now you know <laughs> yeah your teacher teacher was carlton keto how was he as a teacher and how was your years as as a student he had great material but i don't know he was the greatest teacher but you have to take out the of you know the, the best that he, he gives you so it's up to the student to kind of take it out of the teacher you know what i mean and he wouldn't really a great he wouldn't like explain things or something like that but he'll just give you and but you have to take him home and you know work on it so i did and he used to love me though anyway so yeah uh young boys around the city they all love the guitar personally to you do you think that people or boys or girls or whoever loves the guitar or any kind of western classical instrument uh, western instrument do you think that they first need a background on classical music and then go into rock is there has to be a transition see one thing i need to be clear about or people should have uh this notion about western also has classical so western money it just party music and have fun and couple of drinks no no it's a very deep as deep as indian music uh, whether it's western or uh, i mean whether it's northern or south south indian music it's as deep rock is just a, another tribute you know just just another way another another style of music but to be Uh, able to play classical music and to have that kind of background you have to practice a lot like jazz music or even rock you have to practice practice and practice it's not like you play 5 minutes and you're a rock and roll guitar player and especially guitar everyone wants to become cool someone who wants who actually honestly playing guitar is one thing but i also see people are just posing with it because they just look sexy and cool so playing it and performing it is very two different, different things. things so please yeah. don't sham yourself yeah. my suggestion is if you're shamming please quit and if you're honest carry on and bleed from your fingers before you start playing guitar you know that's the truth yeah so do you still have your first guitar the trunk how did you know about the trunk wow I that's it <laughs> i i don't know i've lost it it's gone it's, i don't see it no i don't think so I don't have it. My, I was surprised. How did you know about the trunk? <laughs> I did my little research. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, it was like a tree trunk. You know. But you know, that's when it, it was a blessing in disguise because I practiced on that, and when I actually got a decent guitar, I said, "Wow, I'm not bad." You know, because my fingers were like ready to play a little bit more because of the guitar was a better guitar when I got it. So yeah, sure. 
and this journey from starting as pop secret and then becoming skinny alley with the same people how did that journey with the three of you together evolve or take part with your music as well how did the transition of being a trio in two different times of life how did that affect the music see uh, with skinny we started writing original music because by then we had enough information or maturity to kind of start writing your own stuff not that we didn't have before but we kind of decided gyan jishri and myself we kind of decided to start writing our own stuff so yeah i mean uh, and also we were playing in a lot of cover bands and covering a lot of music from different bands whether it's santana or dubi brothers or steely dan or jimmy hendrix so we had this experience of uh, learning from the gurus you know and then you do your thing and what hap- what the other side is without doing all that you start writing your own stuff and you end up sounding like uh, you know not that great uh, you know so so we had that thing so we just being honest to that and uh, because of the experience we could write tunes which fitted that genre that we are trying to stylize in yeah so that's that's it Well, thank you, Amitda. Thank you for having us. It was lovely speaking to you here. I hope you have a wonderful time at Boimela and at Kolkata Literature Festival.